Hello everybody, it's Gail, Shabby Cottage Studio. I've got a little um, vacation shopping haul to share with you. We've been, we just got back. We've been gone about a week and so I'm trying to get back into the, the flow of things. Um, we usually rent uh, an Airbnb house with um, some friends of ours and uh, we always like to go someplace we've never been before so that's what we did and we like um, of course to go somewhere where we can do some antiquing and we did that too. We hit two shops in two different towns with an ant one had an antique mall that was 26,000 square feet <laughs> We spent all day there. I mean, we went. We by the time we got there and did some shopping, and then it was lunchtime, and the guys were like, "Let's go eat lunch, and then you can come back." So we went and had lunch at a great place they recommended, and then we came back and finished the second floor of this antique mall, and then the next day we went to another town, which was even smaller than the first town, but they had a they had the best antique mall. It was twenty five thousand square feet. So. Believe me when I say we did antiquing, we did antiquing, and it was fun. So anyway, I thought I would just share some of the goodies I got, and I'll try to make this as quick as possible. So this is my stack of fabrics. I, I was on the lookout for mostly things of uh, fabric nature as opposed to books, and I was also looking for interesting old papers, of which I didn't really find much. but. Um, I did make out when it came to the different fabrics that I found. So these little doll dresses are um, so cute and have can have different uses, I believe. Um, this, I think, was just a doll slip. And it's got some stains on it and it's got a nice little um, fabric, or I'm sorry, lace bottom. And that could definitely make some nice layers, um, little flouncy layers. And then there was this little dress, which again, the same as the little slip. And it's got some stains on it. And then look at this. This definitely has some stains on it, and it's showing its age. But look at the little polka dots up here on, on the collar, and the little teeny tiny buttons. And again, I think this would be so sweet cleaned up and maybe even um, some dyeing done to it and use it for layers in a journal. This was one of my favorites. I've already, I'm already planning a red themed journal. This one is got some stains on it but I don't really care because we love vintage and you know vintage is not brand new pristine and perfect so you either um, ad adopt the stains or you cut around them or you dye them and get rid of them. Um, but stains on something does not stop me from purchasing it and finding a way to use it in a journal. So this was just a little doll skirt and I just, I love this. So I definitely can see this in a red themed journal. Excuse me, sip of water. This was an old, it looks like it was, um, I don't have small arms, but a wrist, something like off of a blouse, but it has snaps, so I think it was used maybe by itself. If anybody knows how these were used, please, in the comments, let me know. But you can see there are um, three snaps on it. And the, the snaps are all still there intact, so I really liked I really liked that. I'll find a use for that. And then <clears throat> just move these aside a little bit. This was a long like a table runner, but I love the end of that, and I can definitely see that in a journal. And do you see the design on that and how long that is? So. Um, plenty of use there for plenty of things. And everything that I purchased um, of the fabrics, nothing was, I think the most expensive item was $8. So that's always good, right? 
Then I got these little embroidered napkins. There's four, in, there were four in the set, but um, I love embroidery. I, I don't do it. <laughs> I've tried. I just, um, I don't. I just, I guess I just don't have the patience for that. But I thought this would make a sweet pocket or something to use um, for a journal cover, some way to use it in a journal cover. And I've got four of them. And let's see. Yes, each napkin has the embroidery on it and they're in really good shape as far as the embroidery some of them have a few stains but you know i told you how i feel about stains <laughs> here's a, uh, i think this is a beautiful um hanky can you see the design in it it's beautiful so and i thought well that would be beautiful on a journal cover there's also let me see if I can get it at an angle. Can you see this side there? There's like a little flower and then some little dots. Oh, okay. This design is on three corners. And then this is the other corner. So I could see that in a journal for sure. In a page, as a pocket. Use the whole thing on a cover or as a pocket. Um, you know, you just have to play around with these things and figure out how best you want to use them. Then I found some um, thin doilies. Yes, I have a lot of doilies. I mentioned that in my last haul, but, I, you know, I'm still apparently buying doilies. But um, thin ones, I am looking now, if I find some one that's thin, then, um, and I like the design, that's, you know, I'll, I'll put that in my cart. But uh, it's a nice little doily, and it's very thin. So that works well in a journal on a page, as a page, on a journal over the cover. And then these are very thin, very soft. Can you see how thin they are? So those would work perfect in a journal. They wouldn't add a lot of bulk. And then I found this hanky. It has a beautiful design on it. And that's, I believe, on two corners. Yes. There's that side. No, it's all four corners. Excuse me. Okay. Wow. So all four corners have that design on it. And it's very thin. Very thin and very soft. So that will find its way into a journal. Again, another piece that's very thin. It's got some stains on it. And then this little table cover, table topper. I never still can't figure out the right words for them, but you all know what I mean. So this definitely has options. It could be cut up, it could be used whole, it could be used, um, you know, on the cover of a journal. Or if you wanted to deconstruct it and use the lace in it, that's an option. Some things you hate to cut apart though, so you have to really think about those. And then this piece, I got this piece because, let me set this aside, because the edges are all tatted. All of this tatting. And uh, I can't even get it all on the camera. It's quite large. But look at all this tatting. So um, as soon as I saw that it was like, okay, that's mine. I love tatting. That will definitely get used. And then, <clears throat> this is a blouse. And again, it's kind of large, but um, when I saw this, I looked at it and looked at it, and I came back and I looked at it again. I walked away, and when I came back the third time, I said, if you've come back and looked at it three times, then you need to buy it. But um, can you, let me see here. Here's the bottom. So that's all the way around the bottom. And then there's this edging. Almost looks like a handkerchief. I don't know if this was, if someone made this, but it looks like, 
what you see on the corner of some handkerchiefs. And I'm thinking somebody made this because there's another one here and another one here. And then on the, on the back, around the back, there is another um, layer of lace. And this is the back across the shoulders. And then back to the front. Sorry, it's just, it's, it's not small. <laughs> so you've got this up at the top, like a yoke. Got all that lace. And then the design that was on the bottom is also around the edges of the sleeves. And there is a little bit of tatting around the, um, the edge of the back. What is that? Yes, it's around the where it buttons up in the back and then the neckline. It's around the back of the neckline is some tatting. So I thought that piece... Um, I think will work well deconstructed. And then, excuse me, sip of water. Um, I found these fabric pieces. They were 50 cents a piece. You know, I've, I pretty much have stopped buying large pieces of fabric because I have enough fabric to last me forever. And in journals, I don't really need large pieces. I mean, I don't need yardage of fabric to do a journal. And um, I have quite a bit already of yardage of fabric. So um, when I saw these, I thought these are great because they're smaller pieces. They can be used in journals. Um, this has just got a, a dotted, embroidered kind of look to the fabric, which I liked. And it's gold on a cream background. So there's that. And then I thought... I wasn't sure about this piece, but 50 cents, I got it anyway. This is the outside of the fabric. So it's got these little, little teeny tiny threads, almost like little tiny tassels. Um, and I thought this, you know, with the right theme, this could be a journal cover. So there was that. And then this piece of upholstery, which I really liked, it's a nice weight upholstery, and it could be used actually on both sides. I'm not even sure which is the front and which is the back of this fabric. I'm thinking that since since the um, tag is on this side, that this is the front of the fabric but I'm not positive, but I would use both sides, both sides. And again, I'm thinking, oh, well, if I've got a red themed journal in my mind, this might be something that uh, I could use. And then there was this piece. I have no idea what it was. It's got some like interfacing in it and it's got a couple of holes in it that they had, they look like they had a purpose. They aren't just worn holes um, because they're even and there's like four of them across. So I'm not sure if it was, if it gathered or there's like an interfacing on each of the long sides. And then here it looks like there was some gathering. So I'm not sure what it was used for, but um, I liked the color. And I liked the fabric. It has kind of a taffeta or satin kind of feel. It's soft, it's not stiff. But um, I thought actually that went well with that. And I thought, um, I thought these three actually went well together. So, so that was my fabric, my little fabric haul. And then I got, I did get a couple books actually. My friend found this one for me, um, and this is uh, well worn. <laughs> this is well worn. It's uh, 1907. Can you see the inside page? And 
then it's got some wonderful illustrations in it. Look at that, isn't it gorgeous? Gorgeous. And what's really nice is there is a an illustration or a painting on one side and then words on the other. So if I wanted to use this in a journal, I wouldn't have um, you know the terrible decision if there was a an image I liked on both sides of deciding which side I'm going to use. Plus, I'm going to scan these and these will probably show up in a kit somewhere at some time. And I think there's one more. Actually, I think... I was wrong, there's two more. So I like that was a nice find like that. And I found these. Okay. I found these sweet little faces. What really attracted me to these was the fact that the photographer's card in the back was pink on all four of them. They're on, there's the um, different photographers. These were the, th these three are the same, and this one was a different photographer, and it's kind of a paler pink. But I'm thinking, I'm thinking these three are sisters. I was studying them, and they all seem to have the same shape of mouth. And just the fact that they're from the same photographer, I'm, you know, I'm just guessing. It's just a guess. And then I found this sweet little card. It's a little shower card, but can you see the gold on it? Is the gold on it's really still nice? And I really thought this was a sweet image. And the inside could definitely be collaged. Um, so there's a use for that. Sorry. I have to, I've been really dry lately, <clears throat> drinking a lot more water than my norm. This one I thought would be sweet to slip into a journal and it could be collaged, more pages could be added to it. This is a, a card stock and then there's a paper inside. It's a little heavier than copy paper, but it's not card stock paper. And I liked the little ribbon, but it looks like it might be wanting to come off. So I'll have to see about that. And then I just got some postcards. I'm always looking at postcards. I love to stick a vintage postcard in my journals and my ephemera packs. And of course, you know, I'm always drawn to the flowers. This one's 1897, and there's no writing on the back. One of them, I think just, oh, no, several of them had. Okay, so there is some writing on the backs of some of them. I was wrong. 1918, some of them don't have dates. I think that's what it was, yeah. So those were my postcards. And then <clears throat> I found this stack of books. And what drew them to me was, or what drew me to them, was the size. And the vendor had these all tied up in a bundle, and I wasn't about to untie her handiwork just to look inside. But I knew, um, I knew from looking at them and looking at the page edges, um, I wasn't thinking that they had illustrations. I was just thinking, well, the pages are going to be, you know, they're vintage. Is, I guess what I'm thinking. But what really drew them, drew me to them was the size. I love the size of this. So if I take the inside out, and then when I got to looking at it, these, like this one's dated, somebody gave it as a, nope, it was somebody in high school, and she dated it 1931. So they're definitely vintage. And so these pages would be great to include in ephemera packs and um, in journals. 
So that's what I'm going to use them for. And then, I, like I said, I will take them out of the book itself and use the hardcover as a journal. And see, it's got a, a nice um, width for a spine. And it's in really, really good shape. So I got that one. The middle one, actually, they're all three different sizes now that I look at them. But then this one is a little thinner. But they're all in good shape. This one is dated uh, 1929, sophomore, Salem High. Um, there's just that front illustration in these. And the rest of them are just... Oh, look, I didn't... Look at that, a piece of ephemera. Two pieces. Let's see, Salem Baptist Church, individual report. Huh, okay, that's a little win there. And I think, it looks like the text might be a little different. So this is something that, yeah, see the difference in the text? It's text size, which I like. I like different fonts and different sizes of text. It makes for more interesting pages. So these apparently were books that they used in school. Then there's this one. So it's the same young lady, Evelyn Board. I think one's... Hold on. Yeah, the same young lady, Evelyn Board. And this is dated 1931. Just, uh, so this must be the author's image, and then just all this text. So um, I'll make into journals. And the last thing I found was this little box. And I thought, well, this is great just to sit in front of me on my desk when I'm working on a journal, because I'm always trying to corral small pieces. I have... Um, let me reach. I have this piece that I keep on at the front of my table. My I don't have depth. I don't have a lot of depth. So I had my husband make me a little shelf in front of me. Plus I have a window in front of me, so I'm limited to frontage acreage. <laughs> so I, I had found this one day at a thrift store, and I've been using this. Um, but I thought, well, this is great because then I can do different subject matter if I want, or different sizes, and then here's a larger one. So um, I'm looking forward to using that. And one more little fun. We stopped at a thrift store on the way home from on vacation, and <clears throat> I found this, you know these, these old photo books. And it's got this really ugly Sorry for the glare. This ugly um, plastic cover that I'm absolutely getting rid of. There, that is gone in the bin. Um, so it's got a fabric cover. But I thought, I'm going to play with this and see about using it for either um, die cuts or um, a lot of small images that I have. Um, I've always kind of avoided these because I think, well, I have to dig down maybe to get something. But then I thought, well, I can I can cut a pocket, a thumb pocket in these too, and just use it for larger, small items, if that makes sense. And just try it and see how that works. I have one, I think I have, I have one. It's this kind. Sorry for the glare. And so I've been using it. Um, I've started putting die cuts in it. And um, that, that seems to be working because the pages aren't real tight. So I'm thinking I might be able to have the same, the same here. These pages don't feel real tight. I don't have small, tiny, dainty fingers, so I can't use um, small, tiny, dainty things. But if I cut some thumb notches in these, I think this might, we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, and then I got one of these for like a dollar at the thrift store. Again, just, you know, for to use for pages in journals. Anyway, that's it. I said I was going to keep it short, so I need to stop chatting and I need to go because I've got to clean up my mess and find places to put all this stuff. <laughs> 
Anyway, you guys, thanks. If you stop by, thanks so much. Um, if you liked what you saw and you leave me a thumbs up, I would be grateful. A comment is always wonderful because I love talking to you guys. I think you're awesome. And I hope you all are well. I hope you've been well all week. And I hope here in the U.S., those of you who are celebrating um, this weekend the... Uh, the Memorial Day long weekend. I hope you got great plans. In fact, you're probably out enjoying them and you're not even watching this video and that's cool too because we all need to have great plans and have fun. I just had a fun week and now I've got to get back to work. So I will see you in the next video. You take care. Bye.